Hey guys, it's Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing good on this Friday fabulous night. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings to you. And hope, if you will, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification button. Even hit that bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel so free, can you go ahead and hit the like button? Give me a thumbs up. If you can relate to this video, or even drop a comment, which will greatly be appreciated. So, blessings, namaste, and love and light always. And thank you for the support. And if you are a returning sub, as usual, thank you so much for your support, love, and light, and many blessings to you. And namaste. Today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Are you an INFJ that's going through depression? Man, <laughs> we are not like regular people going through depression. There's just so many things, you know, people have anxiety, bipolar, all these different things. But what INFJs, it's intensified because we soak up basically everybody else's energy on top of our own with the depression we have which can make you lose your mind you can go through a phase they said where um you can start take stop taking showers stop grooming yourself things that you know you should do and it's just with us we are so good for analyzing other people's problems and taking taking on other things that we are to save the world like today i'm listening to this song by maxwell the instrumental version of pretty wings i love that song um and it just felt like something i needed to, to put on because it's just you know it just lets you relax and stuff like that because i meant guys i was going through a depression the other day i'm not even gonna lie um and that's probably the reason why i didn't do another video that next day um, because it was like on the 21st, it was so bad. It was just really bad because number one, it was just a whole bunch of different deaths that happened just within a few days. Charles Manson, which uh, we're not going to even discuss that one. Uh, Della Reese, David Cassidy, uh, Earl Heyman. He is, uh, the, the guy who played Panthro on Thundercats back in the day. And he also played Bill Cosby's father is Mr. Huxtable. Um, he passed away also. And then I had a good friend of mine that drowned the other day, saving some people exactly on the 21st. Then I found out my aunt died exactly on the 21st. And then my dad, you know, it was just really bad. It was like death coming back to back. Like, Grim Reaper was really, really busy the last few days it's just like he's knocking on folks left and right like just taking them home and it was just like very overwhelming to me and it's just like my outlet is just go to facebook or some sometimes other than read or meditate or anything like that or say a prayer um i thought it would be okay to get on but it got really bad when i'm starting to soak up everybody's energy that is on different parts of my dad's page because it just seems like every 21st that comes around in the month they acknowledge him and it's just so sad and it's just like when people don't know diamond's daughter and i'm just seeing all this stuff i have to like back out because i'm really catching everybody's feelings on that and it's just like i had to keep putting posts like he, he's never left he's in all of us you know when you see that um that it's just like he lives through all of us as in you know, he, they're sharing these videos, they're sharing different pictures, they're sharing different experiences people have had, you know, different stories. And that's how he lived on throughout of, throughout of all of us that, um, that thinks about him that way. And so I know that's how he wants everybody to think of him. And it's just, you no, know, he doesn't want people to be sad. And I was okay until I started seeing all these different things. And then it's just like, I'm hearing all these Different people are passing away, especially if it was somebody that, you know, I went to school with. That was really depressing. So, but I know he went out doing something that he loves to do. It's just in helping people. So, you know, I, I was just like, if I was to go out, that would be a way I want to go out. You know, knowing that I did something right, that I was trying to help somebody. So when we go through all these different depressions, we are just so quick to, you know, 
we'll, we'll fall short. We'll get into a depression where we don't feel like doing anything. We don't want to go out. As bad as it is, we don't like being too sociable anyway. <laughs> so it, it's just the depression is normal, guys. It's really normal. But you have to get you have to get the extrovert. Like they said, it's not use the introvert side, but the extrovert side. Just as you say, you know what, you recognize what you're going through. But what are you going to do about it? You can't stay in this situation for too much longer. You can't. There's, you know, there's no reason to. You're supposed to recognize the things that you're going through, analyze them, let go, and move on. So, these are the things that I just want to tell you guys. And just know that when you're, you know, you're, you're INFJ or INFJP, I think that's what it says, that these, are, these things are normal. I'm still going through research, as I know. So, when I go ahead and research stuff and I learn different things that, that I might be going through, that you guys might be going through, I go ahead and inform you guys. So hopefully you, you'll understand the things you're going through and just, just don't be so hard on yourself, guys. It just, Rome is not built in a day. You know, you're going to have days that you're going to be depressed, but just know, just don't stay there. Just try not to stay there. Just look at the big picture on everything that is going around you. Maybe you can see something good out of what you're going through. But I will not hold you guys up on this beautiful Friday night. I'm having me a glass of wine. I was just like, this has been a long week. I needed it. <laughs> and then, it, you know, feel full from Thanksgiving. So if I feel like I'm just a little, uh, it's not that I'm being in a bad mood. I'm full, guys. I'm really full. <laughs> and so I hope everybody's having a good night. Please be responsible at everything you do. And much love and many blessings to you. And as always, I will keep you guys in my prayers. Um, and I will talk to you on my next video. Peace. And be wild. Oh, yes. And please like and subscribe. Hit the notification button. Give me a thumbs up. Even drop a comment if you feel free. And I will talk to you later. Peace. And be wild.